great day today is. Um, I've been up for probably two hours this morning. The air conditioner in my room, which is right next to my head when I sleep, uh, just went into like turbo mode. I have no idea what's going on with it. Um, but yeah, it's a great day. Um, look at this. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Two thumbs up. I can't do two thumbs up because I have to hold the camera, but it's a great day. Got a bunch of stuff to do today. Um, it's Friday, which is awesome. I love Fridays. Um, Friday's the only day of the week I like more than Monday. Um, the reason I like Monday so much is because it's a chance to launch my week off in the right way. Um, I get a chance to do a lot of work because Mondays are always busy. Monday's my long work day at work. I don't really do that much at work because I'm a lifeguard and the number of times where I actually have to jump in the pool is very small and usually when I do it's just because of a training test or something. But yeah, like Friday, who doesn't like Friday? Friday's a great day. So uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do today, but it's all stuff that I want to do. Um, I do have a grad party to go to, but I think if I go at all, I'm not going to stay for very long because um, it's a whole friend of a friend kind of deal. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'll get going with my stuff. So, I lied. I'm not showering. I'm actually gonna go for a run. Because it's beautiful out. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a run instead of showering and then running and then showering again because that doesn't make any sense. That was a pretty good run. I only went about two miles, I didn't go very far. Typically, I'll go between three and four, and by typically I mean last time I went running, <laughs> because the thing is, last time I went running was the first time I'd been running like any kind of distance in just over two years, so uh, I thought, oh man, no big deal, right? It's like riding a bike, it's not. <laughs> it's not like riding a bike at all. It's a lot harder to get back into. Uh, you don't realize how out of shape you are until you start running again. And man, it was tough. And I didn't do enough stretching afterwards. I did almost three and a half miles last time. Again, not very much, not as much as I want to do, but I could not do more than that. <laughs> I'm so out of shape. And so this time I only went two miles, but last time I didn't stretch enough. And I can't stress enough how important it is to stretch after you run, because I thought I did enough and then for two days afterwards, the next morning and the morning after that when I woke up, I could barely walk and I really was struggling to go down the stairs. I had to sit on my butt and scoot down the stairs like a little kid because I couldn't do it. What's up guys? This is the Rose Garden. I like to do my stretching in here because it's really nice. It's like its own little world. I can be in here and, and be outside but it's nice and shady in here it's really peaceful so I'm gonna do my stretching and then I'm gonna jump in the shower I'm tired <laughs> I just realized that I didn't bring a water so that was a mistake I don't like running with a water bottle because it's not great um, so I'll show you guys what I do for water when I'm running I make these little pouches um, that have water in them they're not very big um, they fit in your hand they fit in your pocket really well though the thing is when you're running you don't want to have a water bottle because even a small one like this, um, a 12 ouncer, that's too much. Um, you don't want to be holding something while you're running. It's super easy to make. All you have to do is you start out with a snack size Ziploc bag and then you just cut it in half, uh, make it a little small one, take some packing tape, super easy. All you got to do is stick the packing tape on over top. And then fold it over. Make sure you get that edge really solid, otherwise it'll leak. And then all you gotta do is trim it off. 
make sure the edges are all tight and sealed up. And then uh, there you go, you got your little pouch. Now you just take your water. Fill it up. It's up to you how much you want to put in, but you don't want yours to be like a ball. Um, you want it to be a nice little thin pouch you can put in your pocket. Um, it's not much water, but it's enough for if you're getting to like your halfway point or you really feel like you're dehydrating, um, you can just drink from it. It actually carries a decent amount, and if you're a runner, you'll know that you don't want to drink a bunch of water while you're running. You really just want enough to fill your mouth and kind of swish around. Um, so this is definitely enough for a whole running trip for me. Uh, when I, if I'm doing less than five miles, if I'm doing more than five miles, which doesn't happen very often, <laughs> I'll take two, one in each pocket. So that's what I do for water when I'm running, um, and it works really well. All right, guys, so I'm all showered up. A nice, quick, cold shower. I like taking cold showers because um, there are a lot of uh, health benefits there are a lot of health benefits to warm showers and cold showers, but after run, I prefer to take a cold shower because I'm really warm. Um, and I like to stretch and then shower straight away. Um, and sometimes, depending on how warm it is outside, I'll actually still be sweating. So in a cold shower, my core temperature cools down a lot quicker. I'm out here on the tracks, um, hoping to get some cool shots of the highway. What the heck is that guy doing up there? Who does that? That brings a whole new meaning to telephone wire. I see some pretty weird stuff around here. Hi kitty. Hi. Say hi. No? Hi. Okay, cool. It's currently 12.05. Um, I'm doing some work for something that I'm gonna have to blur out. <laughs> uh, because it's not ready yet. I'm not ready to show people. Um, I'm working on my business cards for my graphic design company <clears throat> and uh, it's pretty exciting so I've got a lot of work to do um, I'm planning on working for about an hour on this yet this morning alright I'm going to lunch with Gabby I completely forgot about this date today it's our anniversary date our anniversary our dating anniversary we've been dating for two years already it's crazy our dating anniversary was uh, on the 1st, on June 1st, um, and I was sick, she had just scratched her cornea, so she wasn't really feeling up to anything either, and so I felt bad that we didn't go anywhere uh, or do anything, but I had this whole date planned, um, and I think it's a good plan, and I want it to be, uh, I want it to be nice, I want it to be romantic and whatever, and I don't want it to be rushed or anything, so we've kind of been trying to find time in the last few weeks to do it, and today works perfectly. So I completely forgot this morning, though. I knew I had to help her out with a photo shoot, which we're going to do after. So we're going to do a date now, and uh, it should be fun. Alright, so we just got to restaurant for lunch. This is Gabby. We've been dating for two years. This is our two year anniversary date that uh, is really late. Very late. And I feel, yeah, I feel bad about that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna blame her for that. So. Yeah. How's your food? I don't remember the It's good. Good. No, no, that's mine. At the park. Yeah. Second part of our date. I um, have no idea what's going on. 
Yeah, she doesn't know the plan. I planned this whole thing out. She doesn't know. I'm not going to tell her what it is until we're wherever we're going. Um, so, that we just had lunch at the first place we ever had food at. The first place we went out to eat together. Yes. Um, so, now we're at the first place we ever met at before like outside of school oh yeah and it was like all right it was super awkward yes it was this is when i asked her to go to prom it was so awkward i i had this cool plan to like i wrote prom with a question mark on a t-shirt and i was i had flowers and everything and i was just sitting there waiting for her to come and it, she was late. I don't, she was late and I was early. So it was so awkward. I was just standing there. <laughs> I was standing up and there were like a bunch of people I used to know were there. So I sat down eventually. And of course, like as soon as I sat down, that's when she shows up. And then she like noticed it after like 10 minutes. Sorry, I wasn't like, I was like, okay, like I didn't look at your shirt. Yeah. I was just sitting I there. I kept like it. sticking my chest out, trying to like. And I was like, I was like, ah, oh, shoot. I looked down and I was like, dang it. I missed it. <laughs> and then he just like nodded. <laughs> he didn't even say anything. I was like, I can't just say, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't call it our first date because we weren't dating. Was, we uh, weren't dating when we went to prom, but she was my date to prom. That's where it all started. That's where it all started. That's right. I don't know if you guys could see that, but there was a huge snake. There was a big turtle trying to climb up the waterfall, so I went down right by the water, and I was stepping down into the brush, and there was a huge snake. It was black, and it was like, it was really thick. It was, it had to be more than two inches thick. And I, my foot was probably an inch away from it. It was so close, that scared me. <laughs> it really startled me. This is the second, well, this was gonna be the second part of our date, but it's not the third part because we went to lunch early. Um, this is our official first date, this was. Um, this is when we decided to start dating. Uh, and if, if I thought Central Park was awkward, this was like more awkward than anything in my entire life. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier. <laughs> um, there was a bee that would just not leave us alone. No. And it was really it was really ruining the mood. All right. It's the last part of our date. Sorry. It's okay. Um, we're at the movies, and uh, one of our first dates was. I was thinking for some reason that one of our first dates was an X Men movie, but no, it was, it was um, Divergent. Yeah. But it's already too late because although X Men was the second movie we saw together, that's how I knew she was a keeper because I was like, let's go see this relationship dating movie. And she was like, how about the new X Men? And I was like, all right. Sa, dude. So we're going to see Now You See Me 2 because we're going to see X-Men but we just barely didn't make it for X-Men. We were 10 minutes too late for the show to start. Which, uh, whatever, that's fine. Get to see Now You See Me 1. So, it's okay. you know what it's about, though, right? Yeah, I know what it's about. Really good movie. Nice see me one was awesome. Tell me if I walk past it. Okay, it's right here. Yeah, nice see me one was really good, so hope you see me good. We just got out of the movie. It was really good. Um, 
Yeah, now the now you see me movies are a little bit confusing. You gotta really pay attention to what's going on. Um, but yeah, it was a good movie. What do you think? It was good. It was good. We gotta. We had to move all my Taco Bell hot sauce, so you don't need to get that stuff. It's fine. Uh. Yeah, because my uh, my console is filled with Taco Bell hot sauce, so we had to move it all because we had to put the camera in there because we couldn't take it in the movie. So now we're gonna go do a photo shoot. Making a quick stop at Meyer. It's really hot today. Okay. We need to find a mic for my uh, camera because the built-in one's not great, as you can all tell. It's the hottest day ever here. It is hot, yeah. It's. I think it might be the hottest day of the year. I don't know. We've had some pretty hot ones, but Actually, I don't know. Too yeah, great. Grad party season. Hottest day of the year. They didn't have it. They didn't have mics at all of any kind uh, at at Meyer. Kind of let down, especially because. You said that they were gonna have it. They did have another one, okay? So now we're going to Target, which is completely out of the way, but it's okay, because I love driving. photo shoot with Gab so this is a little bit of a sneak peek photo shoots done um, about to head home so it's been a long day I've done it so much though I've gotten a ton of stuff done today uh, it's been a really good day so um, I'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching <laughs>